I'd have known that there were pink katydids at this house um, when we were looking for houses. I would have bought this place sight unseen. No joke. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you don't know me already, I am Kendra. My husband is John. I'm an ecologist, he's an entomologist, and we're both nature photogra photographers and bug lovers. So, um, today I'm gonna talk about the pink Katie did. Um, but first, if you could uh, like and subscribe to this channel, it would be great. It encourages us to make more of these videos because we know that you enjoy watching and watching what we make so if you could like and subscribe that would be fabulous we have a pink katie did in our very own yard which i am so excited about um it's a nymph it's a real tiny itty bitty one and um uh, i'm hoping that we have more and theoretically we should uh, as long as i can get to them before the birds get to them so the story behind the pink katie dids is that um, it's thought that they were recessive, like it was a recessive trait, it only happened every once in a while. Um, and the insectarium in New Orleans had a, a captive colony that they used for education and outreach. And they bred two pink katydids together and they thought, okay, these pink katydids, if this is recessive, we should get 100% pink katydids, but they didn't. They bred the two katydids together and they got, um, 75% pink and well actually I think they got 89% pink and like 11% green which meant that pink was likely the dominant allele so this is amazing so but why wouldn't that be the dominant color in nature that we see with these oblong wing katydids so why is this happening it's because of directional selection and what directional selection means is that um, there's selection happening in a certain direction. It's not rocket science. So basically the birds are seeing the pink katydids eating them. So in nature, we see mostly green katydids. So there is probably in nature more recessive alleles uh, making green katydids than there are pink alleles in nature. Interesting, huh? Fun fact gives us a really cool bug. So um, as I was going through and reading some articles on the pink katydids, one thing I did discover is that um, at the insectarium when they were breeding them, they found that 100% of the time that the um, katydids, the pink katydids were born pink with pink eyes and that the orange or yellow, that's right, these guys can be orange, yellow, pink, green, and shades in between. Individuals that were uh, born with green eyes ended up being orange or yellow. So our Katie did is actually has green eyes, but it looks quite pink. Um, so I'm really interested to see if I can, it, when it grows up, if it's gonna be a pink Katie did or if it's going to in fact be an orange or a yellow one. When we found it in the yard, we actually thought, oh, pink Katie did. And then we were like, wait, is it pink? Um, and when we photographed in the light box, it looked definitely pink. So um, not not entirely sure uh, what it'll end up being, but um, I'm pretty excited about having uh, a pink Katie did in our yard. Um, hopefully we can we can find more. So my mission this spring is going to be find the pink katydids before the birds do so that I can rear them and hopefully have a, a rear them in captivity for outreach because um, one thing is for sure hot pink insects get people liking insects and understanding her and the hot pink katydid is basically does that in a nutshell. Thanks for indulging me and my pink Katie dids. Uh, I hope you find some in your backyard. And um, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fabulous. Uh, and ring the bell so you know when we make a new video. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.